Hi, Thriller Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain an American science fiction thriller film called The Signal. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie starts as we see a man named Nick, who suffers from some kind of muscular dystrophy. Nick is with his girlfriend, Haley, and their best friend, Jonah, in a car, driving to California. The boys are dropping off Haley, who is moving to California for further studies. The three were all classmates at MIT before this. A montage of the trio traveling follows. They eat at diners, visit aquariums. We also see Nick jogging to a river that has swiped away a path. The trio is staying in a hotel room for the night. Nick cannot seem to fall asleep when he suddenly gets a text from a man named Nomad. Nomad is an anonymous hacker who has been texting Nick and Jonah for a long time. He once hacked into MIT's server as Nick and Jonah, and almost got them expelled. He has been troubling them ever since. When Nick threatens to expose him for hacking into MIT, Nomad sends him a live video of themselves in the exact position they are in. He had hacked Haley's laptop in the background and is watching them through its webcam. Nick then takes it upon himself to find Nomad's location, and eventually finds out that Nomad is texting them from Nevada. They continue the journey from the following day. On their way, Jonah receives a picture of their car from Nomad. The three are tense about the situation. Jonah in the backseat actively tries to find Nomad's exact location. They stop at a gas station and Nick gets out to get them coffee. Haley takes this opportunity to ask Jonah if Nick has said anything about her moving to him. She knows that her decision to move to California has bothered Nick, but is worried because he hasn't said anything about it yet. Nick falls and drops the coffee on himself, while the other two run to help him. He is embarrassed about his disability, and it is evident when he walks away to get more coffee, visibly sad. The boys have found Nomad's location and figured that he is only 180 miles away from them. They have decided to pay him a visit on their way, but when they look around, they see that Haley is missing. Nick finds her sitting on a cliff nearby. The two finally talk about their relationship. Nick doesn't want his disability to hold her back, so he wants to break up before she leaves. Haley tries to convince him that it will work out. When he doesn't listen, she takes off the necklace he had given her as a gift and throws it away. The trio then makes their way to Nomad's location. They stop at an abandoned house at night, but they are skeptical about Nomad's presence at such a place, but the boys go in to check anyway. They look around with their flashlight, but do not find anything. Suddenly they hear Haley scream outside and run to her. When they get to the car, she is missing and the car's radio is glitching. The guys start to panic and scream her name. Just then, Nick flashes his light in a direction, and sees Haley being pulled to the sky by a weird force. Frightened, they run towards her, calling her name, the screen abruptly goes blank. When Nick wakes up, he is in a hospital-like facility, wearing only a hospital gown, and is still hazy. A man in a white space suit like attire brings him to a room in a wheelchair. Another man in the same attire introduces himself as Dr. Wallace Damon. He starts to record their conversation and asks him about the first time he encountered this signal. Nick has no idea what he is talking about. He asks Damon about his friends and why he is here. Damon replies that Nick and his friends have come in contact with an EBA, an extraterrestrial biological entity. Nick is still clueless as to what he is talking about and demands to meet his friends or call his family. Damon stops Nick from talking, when he sees Nick's nose starting to bleed heavily. He is then taken back to the room he was kept in before. The following day, the facility workers take him to the same room again. On his way, he sees the workers cleaning a strange liquid on the facility's floor. Then he sees Haley lying in a room. He demands the workers take him to her, but they do not agree. He is taken to Damon who says that he cannot meet Haley at the moment and starts asking him a series of strange questions like if he has ten toes, and if he is from the earth. Damon then asks him about the signals, referring to Nomad's texts. Finally, he shows him a clip from the night they were at Nomad's. He zooms into an alien figure in the background, which Nick is surprised to see. To his horror, Damon reveals that Nomad was not just some hacker. Sometime later, Nick is back in his room when he hears someone whisper to him. He looks around the room and figures the noise is coming from a vent. It is Jonah hiding from the workers, to come to talk to Nick. He acknowledges that something is severely wrong with the people there and fears they might be performing experiments on them. The conversation ends abruptly. The following day, Nick is with Damon again, who this time is performing a shape and color test on him. Agitated, Nick solves the test in one go and demands to see Haley. Damon agrees and takes him to the room where Haley lies unconscious. He claims that she is in a coma and promises, the second she gains her consciousness, he will be able to speak to her. From the next day, 
Nick starts devising a plan to escape the facility. He crushes the cracker given to him as food, and places it onto the keypad to figure out the password combination of the entrance door. When he is back in his room, he puts his plan into action. He goes to take Haley and ties her bed to his wheelchair. Meanwhile, Damon goes to his room and finds drawings of the facility all over his bed. They get to know about his plan. Nick somehow manages to get himself and Haley to the exit door, but he cannot reach the keypad. Nick tries his best and even uses the hospital tube to press in the keys. However, Damon catches him before he can. He wakes up next to Haley, who is still unconscious. While trying to free from the guards, he falls off the bed. The men leave when they see him bleeding. Then, Nick is horrified to see his legs have been amputated, and replaced by prostheses made from alien technology. Damon, who has been watching him through a one-way mirror, tells him that it is difficult to explain. He then sends two workers to get Nick, but his new legs have superhuman strength. Using them, Nick sends the door flying. He drags Haley out with him, as it seems that he can finally walk now. As he walks through the hallway with her, Damon follows them and catches them at the elevator. He calmly explains to Nick that he will only be able to help him inside the facility, and if he goes out, he is on his own. Nick ignores him and runs away with Haley. He ends up in a dimly lit hallway and then in a sewer-like system. When he finally sees sunlight, he finds himself in a desert in the middle of nowhere. Haley finally wakes up, and the two start to walk away. After a while, they are delighted to see a car coming towards them and ask for a ride. The driver is an old delirious woman named Mirabelle. Throughout the journey, she acts strange, talking to tiny angels that she claims are sent by God. She drops them off at a gas station. Nick goes in and tries to use a phone but it doesn't work. He sees his face on the news on the TV, but just then, Nick sees a red truck take Haley away. Using his new legs, Nick runs as fast as the truck. Haley points a gun she found in the car at the man trying to kidnap her. The two throw the man out and drive his truck away. Meanwhile, Damon sets a roadblock to look for the two, and finds Mirabelle. He asks her to come with him and she agrees. Damon also carries a mysterious red briefcase in his hands. He interrogates her at the facility but strangely, Mirabelle's nose starts to bleed like Nick's did earlier. Damon brings out a gun from the briefcase and the screen goes black, implying that he shot her dead. Nick and Haley, on the other hand, reach a dead end and have no clue where they are. When they drive back, they find an abandoned visitor center. They decide to stay there for the time being. Inside, Nick tries to use a phone but it doesn't work either. Haley then finds a map of the place, however, Nick cannot decipher where they are. Damon and his men continue with their pursuit, and find Haley's abductor in his home. He seems to have gone insane, and talks about his family sitting beside him when he is alone. He points a gun at Damon but it doesn't work when he tries to shoot him. Damon then shoots the man dead, covers him with a blanket, and leaves. Meanwhile, Nick and Haley hear a noise from downstairs and hide. They come across a worker from the facility, but it turns out that it is Jonah. The friends finally reunite and share their experiences. It turns out he also escaped from the facility. At night, Nick notices a mark on Haley's back and believes that she has been experimented upon too. Later Jonah tells him that they might be in Area 51, and we get to see that his arms have been changed into prostheses. The following day, they drive in search of an exit, but are caught in a roadblock. Jonah attacks a guard and fires some rounds using his gun, while Nick and Haley crouch down by the truck. Soon, Jonah is severely wounded. He tells Nick to take Haley and go while he distracts the guards. Nick doesn't want to leave his best friend but has no other way. Jonah uses his new arms to destroy a cylinder blocking the truck, and the other two run away. He then punches the ground creating a shockwave that shakes the guards. He dies in the encounter, but it all goes in vain as Nick and Haley are soon caught by Damon. Their truck hits a spike line on the road and flips over. The two come out of it, but are severely injured. Haley hands Nick the necklace that he thought she had thrown away. The guards take Haley away in a chopper. After she is gone, Nick notices Damon's name tag, and figures that his name backwards is Nomad. Damon comes clean, and says that he has been Nomad the whole time. He had brought Nick to them, posing as Nomad to test alien technology on him. He then claims that his legs are examples of a perfect combination of human and alien technology. Realizing that they were used as mere experiments, Nick is agitated. His legs start to glow red, and he runs at supersonic speed. After a while, he crashes into an invisible barrier that leads him to a larger exterior facility. Damon approaches the hole he has created in the environment, and takes off his suit to reveal a robotic head. As it turns out, he and everyone else in the facility are a robotic alien species. Mirabelle and the kidnapper were abducted humans, 
who were driven insane because their brains couldn't sync with the alien technology. Since they could not adapt to it, Damon had to kill them. When Nick turns around, he sees that he is on a whole new planet. The desert was just a simulation to trick them into thinking they were still on Earth. The camera finally zooms out, and we see that the planet is highly modernized with several skyscrapers and has a parabolic sun shield on the top. Nick is the only human there, his best friend is dead and his girlfriend has been taken away from him. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.